athletes in Budapest. It was another gold for the team there. Slightly different team than we saw. There's Paul Slive with a personal best of 45.94. He goes with Mark Hilton, who was fourth in the 400 this evening. Then he passes on to Jamie Bulch and the winner of the 400. Ewan Thomas will be the last runner for the British team. Now, the American team, pretty tough. Kevin Young, the world record for 400 hurdles. Then Joey Woody, Tony Wheeler, and then Milton Campbell, who was second to Ewan in the 400. He'll be looking to return that here. Their way they go, important to get a good start, and the British boys off nice and early. Yes, as you said, it's going to be a very competitive 4x400 metre race with uh, Campbell going against Thomas on the last leg. And uh, how many times have we seen the Brits try to put one over the Americans? The Americans, top of the world, of course, set a new world record at 4x400 metres at the Goodwill Games. This is not the team that set that record, of course, but it's still going to be very strong indeed. Paul Slice doing the right thing, getting out in front there and trying to take the race to the Americans. Kevin Young, not as quick as he used to be, Kevin Young. And of course, he ran in the 400 hurdles earlier on, so he's going to be a little bit tired. But Paul Slice doing the right thing, also running well for the uh, Great Britain second team. Paul McBurney on the outside there, but Britain are going to have the lead going into the second leg. Paul Slive passes on to Mark Hilton for the British first team. The American there is Joey Woody and also Jared Deacon, making it a British one and two, but it's Mark Hilton who was fourth in the 400 metres earlier this evening that takes them along at a very quick pace. The Americans immediately coming back. Joey Woody trying to close down that gap, but so far so good. British first team has it, or the British A team, I should say. Then British B team is second. Mark Hilton now settling into the rhythm, looking, focusing ahead. He'll pass on to Jamie Bulch with Jared Deacon also doing very well. And again, the Americans looking a little tired. Joey Woody tries his best to come around the outside of Jared Deacon. And Jared Deacon also moving out to find his next pass and look to put the second team. But now Mark Hilton battles well. A superb run from Jared Deacon. But so far, so good. The, Brit the British team's in first and second place. Great run there by uh, Jared Deacon to give the uh, B team the lead, actually, on the last leg here. And uh, what a good run for him, sorry, on the third leg here. Tony Borsamato, the 400 meter hurdler, head of Jamie Bolch, the relay specialist, Jamie Bolch. What a great leg he ran in the uh, gold medal winning performance in the European Championships. And now just having a look around, he's looking and laughing at the camera. Well, Jamie loves this, and then what he normally likes to do is to get in front before he gets into the home straight. Is he going to do it here? Yes, he does. Jamie goes round on the top end, takes the lead for Great Britain. The crowd are going wild here. The Americans trying to get back on terms. Tony Wheeler going for them, but at the minute he's not holding Jamie Bolsh. Tony Bolsh and Malato not able to hang on to the Americans either, but it's going to be Britain in the lead. Jamie Bolsh is waiting. What is he doing? He's making a race of it at the end. Well, he's done Ewan Thomas no favours at all because the Americans are away first. Ewan Thomas saying to Jamie Bolsh, what the hell was that at the finish? Now Ewan Thomas has to get Milton Campbell once again. Campbell has the advantage for the Americans. Ewan Thomas has him within his sights and also looking very good for GB. Second team is Matt Douglas, but Ewan Thomas looking for Matt. Milton Campbell, I should say. Milton Campbell sees this as an opportunity for the Americans to take a scalp. Ewan Thomas will bide his time. Also, Matt Douglas has moved into contention. Ewan Thomas coming into the last bend now. The crowd cheering him on. Can Ewan Thomas do it again? The American picks up the pace. Thomas goes with him. He moves out, coming off the top bend. Thomas now has the side, the finish within his sights. Oh, Milton Campbell has the legs. Ewan Thomas cannot get the better of the Americans. Milton Campbell takes the 4 x 400 304.96, Ewan Thomas second, the second British team with Matt Douglas taking third position, but the British boys have done enough to take this GB USA match. Jamie Bolch leaving Ewan Thomas just a little too much to do. And one has to say, I'm sure there'll be a few questions asked in the bar later this evening to what Jamie Bolch was up to there. Ewan trying his best, the legs are tired. He'd given it all in the individual 400 competition where he'd taken top honours, but Ewan Thomas taking second, Milton Campbell taking top position.